of wrestling fans, we're going to take a little opportunity right now to show you one of the unsung WOW superheroes. You may know her from WCW back in the day, NWA, even WOW, when she used to wrestle Thug. She is Selena Majors. I'm Selena Majors. I'm the real deal. I'm also known as Bambi. I'm from Georgia, and I started watching wrestling when I was about four or five years old. But then when I got about nine or ten years old, I really got involved in it, where I wanted my dad to take me to the matches. Georgia Championship Wrestling, the good old days. <laughs> That's what hooked me. When I was about 12, I wrote to a lot of the wrestling schools. Nothing ever really happened, and I had an eating disorder when I was like 14. And uh, I don't know if I should talk about this or not really. Um, hang on a so I wanted to go to the wrestling school and my parents got a divorce and I just got super depressed and quit eating. I, it was just the only thing that I really had to struggle with. So I got pretty sick and they put me in the hospital for about seven months and uh, I was down to 68 pounds. My dad promised me if I were to eat and get up to 100 pounds, he would join a, a fitness center because I either wanted to be a wrestler or a bodybuilder. And so uh, we joined this fitness center and it just so happened, my luck, that that's where all these wrestlers hung out. So I was this little skinny girl going to the gym, pumping iron, saying I wanted to be a wrestler. And I was pretty persistent. And they just kind of took a liking to me. So this one guy, he said, so uh, why don't you go to the matches with me? We'll call you Bambi and you walk out to the ring with me. So I was 19 years old. I took my first clothesline <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I've got my foot in the door. I made $16 that night, but it was the greatest night ever. And then I had my first match, April 16th, 1987. And it was great. And if I wasn't already hooked, I was really hooked then. That was my dream, you know, since I was 10 years old. The only thing greater is that I'm 51 years old and I'm standing here and I'm still doing it. Everybody always asks me, what's your proudest moment in wrestling? They're expecting me to say a match. Any wrestler will tell you the greatest feeling in the world is going out and performing in front of all those people and them cheering your name. But my greatest accomplishment, I think, that I ever did was training all those girls in WOW. Passing the torch and teaching girls to wrestle and seeing that gleam in their eye and knowing that you're a part of the reason that they have the same amount of passion I mean, that's a very satisfying feeling. I work for the greatest women's wrestling company there is. David and I have chased his dream for a long time. And we have the most diverse group of girls that I can think of. Every color, size, background, and we're all brought together with one thing, and that's the love of the wrestling in that ring. Tonight, I'm gonna win the WOW Championship belt. If someone asked me when I was 10 years old, how do you see your life when you're 50 years old? I'm so blessed that this is exactly what I could see myself doing. For that 10 year old kid that wants to achieve their dream, I would tell them to go for it. As long as there's a will, there's a way. And no matter what obstacles, if you want it bad enough, you can get it.